I am very proud of our young people. They have stepped forward tribeless. They have stepped forward peaceful. And I want to tell them we are going to engage them. We are going to have a conversation so that together we can build a greater nation. What I want to assure them is that we are concerned about their issues. In this year's budget, I have enhanced the budget going to CDF. Hello and welcome to my channel. So that is uh, President Ruto addressing congregants in Yahururu today. I'm going to play videos on how people reacted to him since Friday. To increase by 10 billion so that young people can get bursary and young people, we can build ICT hubs so that these young people can get digital jobs because we know the challenge of unemployment in our country. Let me also tell the young people of our nation that in this year's budget also, we have increased our higher education loans board so that no child from any vulnerable family can lack an opportunity to be in a Tibet or in a university on account of the ability of their parents or guardians to pay. He's trying to switch talk Gen Z's for their fees. We're going to make sure that every child has access to higher education. And I want to commit to Kenya. We are a democratic country. We build our institutions, whether it is the executive, the legislature, the judiciary, civil society. We agree that all these institutions are necessary for us to be a greater nation. And we will support all institutions to make decisions for Kenya so that together we can be a great nation. We wish you all the best in that as well. Uh, my question was, uh, uh, as, <laughs> as we wind up, yes. Gidi, my yes. question was, yes. Sisi kama Gen Z, yes. tuende na iyo motaratara or we just tone down <laughs> as we wind up? Let me tell you, there is no turning down. Let me tell you, I speak to these politicians. I'm privileged to be uh, attending some of their meetings. And uh, I also, I play golf, yeah? yeah? So, you know, at golf clubs. <laughs> yeah, sir. Yeah, it's a lot. We, we, <laughs> We, we meet these people. Mm -hmm. Gen Z is, mm -hmm. anyway, be a Siri. Mm -hmm. They are scared. For real. Yeah, they are scared. They are scared. Gen Z is mekuja mbaya. They are scared. So I meet them in their places. You may say my evi kwa sauti ya kidogo, lakini ajo mtaimulika, but Gen Z is meshtua watu. Meshtua watu. And right now, they are talking of, okay, what can we do now? Some of them are even calling me. They're saying, Gidi, Buddha. Our vijana wanatupeleka mbio hivi. Sasa mzee wanapeleka mbio. Si nyinyi ndio mmejipeleka mbio. Atisa tufanye namna gani? Sema engage them. Engage the Gen Zs. Engage them. Sasa tutaongea na nani? Influencer gani unajua? No, I don't know any influencer. Me I only know that these people mean business. Go to TikTok, fungua account, end up ukisikia tunaongea, alafu ujibu. You know? Yeah. Meet these young people and talk to them, listen to their grievances, mm. because they mean well. You know, I've never seen a demonstration where people are so organized. People, what you gonna imagine? Eh? Tuna go. Eh, wana go. Eh, go. People have never seen such things. Even the world is proud. Me, I'm watching international news. People are so proud yes. of what these young people are doing. Yeah. Keep the momentum. Don't give up. Yes. As long as it's peaceful, as long as within is it within the law, and as long as you are articulating issues, you will win. Yeah. And I'm part of it. Right. You will win. It seems like these politicians need to catch up with times. I think they approach media people like uh, Gidi Gidi thinking that journalists of the old age have influence on these young people. This is for entertainment purposes only, family. Yeah. Things are getting thick. So now there's a hashtag on um, X that is talking about impeach and hashtag impeach now be. And Jana, my DVD, came out and said that he felt this Gen Z revolution could actually take Nabi out of power. 
there was, they've now also arrested Leslie Moturi, who is the son of the AG, because they're trying to find out who is behind this thing. They're convinced there has to be a leader. Can you imagine what they would have done if there was a leader? This thing is organic. Everyone is leading this thing from their hearts. But the energy spiritually is so high, it can't be stopped. Emily, if you have a Twitter account or if you have any social media, please retweet this guy widely. This is Dr. Austin Omondi, the one who set up Medics for Kenya and was treating people and helping people out the other day. He was taken, allegedly, by the police in um, a certain vehicle. I'll put the license plate in the description. And he has not been seen then. He's known as Japrado, Japra, Free Japrado, is trending on Twitter family. No one has been able to reach him. We don't know what um, police station he's been taken to. And this is what I was talking about earlier, how they're really trying to, in, to find out who's behind it. So if they saw your face anywhere, they're coming and they're trying to use old school tactics. But we have a voice as social media, so let's definitely get the word out, family. Please share it in the comments and we'll share it with, you know, those concerned. This is for entertainment purposes only. Family, do you see this comment? There are hundreds. I said I wasn't going to cry, but... There are hundreds and hundreds of Kenyans right now across the world trying to get back to Kenya to support Gen Z. They've been sitting in Europe, in the US, I guess they were waiting for this moment and like big up to Gen Z, man. You guys broke something that us previous generations couldn't. We couldn't come together because of like all that brainwashing of tribalism that they did to us. But you guys have sparked something in all of us and we're many and Kenyans are everywhere. Like so many. Family. This, this is like breaking news. Kenya has made it onto the front page of the Wall Street Journal. And this matters because this is the paper that all those investors, all those decision makers in the US, this is the paper they read. And globally, all the big shots, this is it. And don't forget that media is controlled by six major corporations. The Wall Street Journal belongs to one of these six. So by the time they're publishing this about Kenya, it's like they're giving a warning because they use these newspapers to pass each other's signals, stories for other days. But by the time they're doing this family, it's like they're warning each other like, yo, all is not well in Kenya. And someone was joking on Twitter that knowing how these guys of the divided states operate, next thing they'll be trying to fund the revolution because they see their man is going down. Let's give him a round of applause for expressing himself. So that was a young man expressing his feelings on the pulpit of uh, Holy Family Basilica Church today.
So you've heard that's just one entertainment sport that uh, had that moment between 11.59 p.m. till 12.09 past midnight. So just like I said on my previous video, this government needs to realize that business cannot be done as usual. Something different has to be done. And that is engage people, listen to people's grievances and can the whole finance bill and draft it afresh with favorable terms. So I'll keep you updated with more developments. Just like and share this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.